In last episode, we found a cozy forest basin, built ourselves a starter house, and also planted a small crop field. In today's episode, I want to build ourselves a full set of iron armor, perhaps find some diamonds, and then build a barn for some animals. In between the episodes, I gathered some resources for us to build our barn, some wood, and then also some cobblestone. And then I also cleared out this area to build ourselves a barn. And then I would also like to have some kind of field started a little bit bigger than the one over there, specifically for wheat. First things first though, I really need to plant some sugar cane. I would love to build ourselves an enchantment set up here soon. So that's why I am building our barn and getting some animals together. And I also need to plant a sugar cane. That'll get us started for now. I'll go ahead and expand it once it grows all throughout this river. It's just temporary, but it'll work for now. In last episode, we also got ourselves some iron. We have 18 pieces left. So let me see what armor I can build with this much iron. We have enough iron for a chest plate and also some leggings. So at least that's a start. And we have enough iron for our first iron pickaxe of this world. I think what I'll do first in today's episode is go caving for our iron that I want to do and hopefully, hopefully for some diamonds. Now that we are all geared up and ready to go, I'm going to go over to that village and go in the same cave that we went in last episode. All right, and here we are. I don't really know how deep this cave goes, but we have so many more resources to collect in here. Like I said before, I want a full set of iron armor and maybe some diamonds. So I'm going to try to go as deep as I can in the cave. And if we look over that way, I think those are cobwebs, which means that that is an abandoned mine shaft. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so far no mobs. So far so good. I see some iron here and there's some more iron over that way. Oh, a spider. Lots of sp Oh, those are poison spiders. I don't like that one bit. There must be a spider spawner down there. I'm gonna light up this cave a little bit. Ooh, it goes even deeper. This is definitely a tight squeeze in here. This is such a great find. A little bit spooky. But I think we'll get some good resources here. Oh, I feel like I hear so many skeletons. Oh, skeleton. Oh, two skeletons. Oh, three skeletons. Oof. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm just going to sit here and heal for a second. There's lots of spooky mobs around. Oh, is that a spawner? Oh my gosh, there's a spawner. That's why. That's why there's so many skeletons. I need to get in there and light it up. That is such a great find. I can't believe we found ourselves a skeleton spawner. At least I'm 99% sure it's a skeleton spawner. This is nerve wracking. Is there a better way to get? Oh no, I don't know where it's coming from. And my little whippy stone sword. It's not doing well for us. Okay, let me build myself a little hole right here so that we have ourselves an escape plan if we need to escape. I'm so scared. I'm really scared. I don't want to die. Okay, get in there and light it up. Light it up. Ah! Okay, light it up. Light it up. Run, 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 run. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. Whoever said that Minecraft is not scary is lying. Minecraft is so scary. My stone sword is not doing anything to protect me. Get in there now. I hear them, and I don't see them, and I don't like that. I don't like that either. There are so many spawners around here, but I do not like those spawners. Honestly, they're not even worth it to me. I feel like I'd rather just break it, you know? I'm never going to build myself a poisonous spider spawner, ever. It looks like there's another one down this way. I will never, ever build myself one of these. Oh no. Here's a chest, and we got a golden apple and some bread. Some of these activator rails and if i'm being completely honest i don't even know what activator rails do and some torches let's look at the loot inside of the skeleton spawner room okay we got this music disc and some bones some armor i mean not great stuff but i guess i won't complain we did find a skeleton spawner after all i think what i'm gonna do because i'm such a little scaredy cat i'm going to build ourselves a furnace, smelt some of this iron, and make ourselves a new sword 
and maybe some more armor because I'm so spooked out. I want to be completely prepared and I really don't want to die. This is such a good find though. I am so excited. This will be amazing for early game and it's so close to our base as well. This is so great. I could have not asked for anything better. And if we look right here, we have ourselves a full set of iron armor already. I'm so excited. Now I feel a little bit more brave in this cave, but it's still very spooky. Though we are already at Y28, which is pretty far down. Honestly, further down than I thought we were. <gasps> Creeper. No, 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 no. Ooh, oh, a lush cave. Whoa, that's such a good find too. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have just fallen down here. There's some deep slate down that way. I see some redstone as well. Some glow berries and all of these little bushes and moss blocks. I would collect all of this stuff, but honestly, I'm really running out of pocket space. So I have to be a little bit sparing about what I can grab, but maybe I will grab just a couple of moss blocks. Anytime that I see glow lichen, I'm like, diamonds! But those are not diamonds, unfortunately. They always trick me. Like I said, I'm here for diamonds. I know I didn't explore that mine shaft like at all, but I'm really looking for diamonds now that we have ourselves a full set of iron armor. <gasps> diamonds! Wow, right as soon as I said that. Oh, it looks like we just got ourselves one diamond, but hey. That's our first diamond of this world. That is pretty awesome. That's a lot of tough. I definitely want to collect some tough. It's one of my favorite blocks. I feel like I rarely build with it, but I really do love the tough block. Oh, and it goes so much deeper. One thing I really try to make sure I do is look all around and make sure I'm keeping my eyes peeled for diamonds. I feel like it's so easy just to continue to look down, but diamonds aren't always below us. Sometimes they'll be above us like we found earlier. Look, there's some more diamonds. Yay, right above some lava. Luckily, I brought some water. My pockets are really, really full. So my goal is just to find two more diamonds. So I'm hoping, please, 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 at least one more diamond. Okay. Seems like we just got one diamond. So as soon as I find one more diamond, I'm honestly just going to leave this cave. I have so much more to explore, but I don't want to die with all of this cool loot in my pockets. So I'm going to find one more diamond and then we'll head back to our base. Honestly, I would love to find three more diamonds so that we can build ourselves an enchantment setup and also make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. So I don't know. We'll see about that. It's a little bit ambitious, but that would be great if we can find that. Whoa. This little ravine. I don't know about little. Big ravine. Oh, there's a geode right there inside of this ravine. That's so cool. We found so many cool stuff. This is so crazy. I did not expect to find all of this. Hey, here we are inside of the geode right here. So cool. Can't believe we found ourselves a geode. It's so pretty. Ooh, that was scary. Luckily there was water right here. That was very scary. Oh. Okay, I'm going to explore this cave some more and I'll meet back up with you whenever I find maybe three diamonds.
right, so I am back from my caving trip and I think it was pretty successful. So here is all of the loot that we got and I did manage to collect five diamonds like I was hoping. So now I can make a diamond pickaxe and also an enchantment setup. I also got plenty of other goodies too. I have so much more exploring to do, but I just ran out of pocket space, honestly. But I got lots of iron and so many other things. I also found a zombie spawner, another geode, and the deep dark biome. So in total, we found a skeleton spawner, a zombie spawner, a lush cave, an abandoned mine shaft, a couple of geodes, and the deep dark biome. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better caving trip. That was such a good caving trip. So now we need to work towards an enchantment setup. And in order to do that, we need to collect some cows and then also continue to work on our sugarcane farm. So I think that I'm going to make a temporary fence and collect some cows so that I can start breeding them up so that we're ready to go whenever I'm done building the barn. Okay, temporary fence. Now we just had to find ourselves some cows. Oh, there's one right there. Do you have any friends around? Oh, and another one, come with me. That was surprisingly easy. So now I can start to breed up the cows as I'm building the barn. I'm going to go ahead and get all of my resources together and put them inside of a chest. Also get like a crafting table and a stone cutter. That's one thing I love to do whenever I build is get all of my resources together in my work area so that I don't have to keep on going back and forth. Also, we're pretty much rich now, so no more stone tools for me, only iron tools. I will also be periodically harvesting our little field over here so that we are able to breed up the cows. My least favorite item in Minecraft is probably the poisonous potato. It has absolutely no purpose at all. It just takes up inventory space and I hate it, honestly. Okay, I'm not going to plan anything fancy here. It's going to be a pretty simple barn, honestly. Just something that looks nicer than that. That is my goal here. I think that this is a pretty good foundation to start with. We'll have our main barn area in here and we will have a little domed roof, very barn-esque. And then over here, I guess this is kind of gonna be like a horse stable. We do have a saddle now, so we can actually get a horse. So this is what we are looking at. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the build in. that we are done with the barn it honestly turned out so much better than i was expecting it's so simple but honestly i think it's so cute and so cozy and i think it fits in with our world perfectly so if we go inside we have some little hay piles this water trough which is actually an infinite water source and then over here i'm planning on putting some horses we'll definitely have to get some horses and if we go up here into the hay loft i just have a bed some hay and some little junk that's just laying around it's not really big enough to have sheep and cows i don't think i think i'll just probably put some cows in here if i'm being honest and then maybe i can put a pin somewhere around here that's a little bit better than that pin over there and i can put some sheep in it maybe but first i need to bring the cows over to their new home 
come on little cows i did breed up the cows a little bit while i was building so we have a little bit more than just three and there we go i'm gonna breed them real fast again i hope that they like their new home i love their new home personally and here's a little tip oh of course he's gonna go take a bath right now but here's your little tip if you don't want your animals climbing up the ladder then don't put a ladder on the bottom and then they won't climb up so but they seem to love the water trough, which is pretty cool. And of course, they're climbing on every single surface. And now I can get rid of this little pin over here. It served a good purpose for the time being, but we have something much better. So now we have two cute cozy builds in our world, but they aren't really linked up. So I think what I want to do is link them up with a little pathway and some terraforming. So first things first, I should probably clear out an area for the pathway. And then I think I'm just going to stick with a regular old dirt pathway for now. Eventually, I can get some coarse dirt in here, but I have no gravel at all. I don't even think I have a single piece of gravel. So this will have to do for now. I can also add a little pathway going to our garden. I'm going to put some little lamp posts around the pathway as well i think i'm just gonna do something super simple like that maybe i played around with a couple of lamppost ideas but it just felt too i don't know like modern or developed for me and i'm really going for like simple and cute and cozy and not really city vibes And now our pathway will be a little bit safer. I think next I want to put some bushes around. And maybe some sweet berries as well. You can't ever go wrong with a little sweet berry. Ooh, and I mentioned that I wanted to put some bushes around our farm last episode. So maybe I'll do that now. Also, one thing that I noticed is that we actually have a little bee friend up in our attic. I don't think that he meant to go up here, and honestly, I don't know how to get him down. He's kind of just stuck on this ladder. I kind of feel bad for him. Maybe I can just... Oh, there he goes. There you go. I did not expect that to work so easily. I also think that flowers will be a great addition, so I'm going to add some flowers around. Pretty much the only flowers that I have are these rose bushes. I haven't really found too many flowers. I have a couple of those, but I need to go exploring really bad because I don't have a lot of wood types. I don't have lots of flowers. Maybe we can make that a goal for next episode is to do just a little bit of exploring and kind of see what's around here. Because all that I know is around here is some snow over that way, a village that way, and then another village that way. And then other than that, that's all I know. Last but not least, I think I want to put these azalea bushes around. We did find a lush cave earlier this episode. So I think I want to put some little bushes like that and then I can make them taller with a little moss block on top. Oh, I guess it doesn't really work for the flowering ones, though. I think it really only works for the regular ones. I'm going to also add some little fences. And then maybe I'll add some little pebbles to go around. And I think that will about do it for now. I think this pathway looks so much more grown in now. I added all these plants and flowers and bushes, pebbles and lanterns and fences. And I think it just looks a lot better like this. I think eventually I'll add some little ponds and some waterways, some streams and some little waterfalls. I think that can make this area look a lot more filled in and not just the buildings and the pathway being filled in. I think that in next episode, I would like to explore a little bit and then also continue working on it, building our enchantment setup. But I think that'll about do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.